So here I'm trying to lift the, the Wing Chun's long pole, which is a very heavy pole. Uh, initially I had my arms down and he said, no, hold your arms up and keep the arms straight. And you can see that it's, I'm having trouble uh, lifting it at all. Uh, and there he's giving me some tactile correction to help me relax the muscles, set the joints in the, in the right condition and to, for my, to be able to, you know, there you go. Use my mind to use it uh, to move the joints. So basically, best using a, a more efficient biomechanics uh, to be able to lift it up. So this is, you know, to show that in our type of practice, it's not that we can only produce power and affect a human body. It's just sheer power. It's 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 you know the show of efficient and effective biomechanics. In this case, just the joints of the arms. But in this method, of course, we work on the entire body, the joints of the legs the spine, every joint, um, we're able to get that kind of that kind of controlling. This pole itself is, uh, we actually measured how much force it would take to lift this pole up. What we did is we put a block, a uh, little small block on top of the scales and where I'm holding here, we put, we placed this part of the pole on that block on top of the scales and then we push down on this side to see how much force it's going to take to lift the pole up. And it was 17.5 kilos. So to hold the arm straight like this, at this shoulder height level, fully extended, and just use the joints there to lift up, it's not an easy thing to do. Um, even you know there was people that are very strong, you know, 100 plus kilo muscular guys that tried this, and they weren't able to do it. So um, it's just it's it's about utilization of efficient biomechanics. So you can imagine being able to use that. Um, later on in, in, in using whatever for self-defense, you know, for, for defense, for uh, striking power, things like that. Um, of course, you have to be able to practice. You have to put it into practice in those, in those uh, things. If you want to get be able to use this method to strike harder, you have to do a lot of striking within this state. To, to learn how to use the bio, bio, biomechanics in that way. You want to learn how to do, um, you know, how to really defend yourself. You can't just do the forms and just tap into and get this ability and expect that you can magically pull it off, uh, pull it off in a, uh, on the street without actually having done the, the dynamic sort of sparring practice, the, 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 the dynamic chi style practice to be able to actually retain the stand and apply it in a self-defense. But what this shows is just, you know, the, again, the ability of biomechanics, which can be used, yes, for self-defense, but, uh, you know, more importantly, I think, it can be used for your daily life, no matter what sport you're playing, no matter um, how you're moving your body.